Everybody, welcome to getting ready for third grade math like a boss. I am your host, Miss McCarthy. Um, I'm so excited that you are here. Maybe you're tuning in from your classroom, or from your house, maybe from your car. However, you are choosing to watch today and to learn today. Thanks for being here. You are awesome. Okay. Um, so the purpose of these videos is to give you an awesome foundation for what you're going to need in third grade math, okay? It's not everything that you need to know in third grade math, but if you know this stuff really, really well, then you'll have a really good foundation. So this is an eight-week course. We are on week three today, which is addition. <laughs> um, and it's addition is something that we really, it's hard in third grade to have a lot of time to be able to go over this. We kind of just jump right into multiplication, but I want to make sure that you've got this locked down because it is a third grade skill. So let's do this. And yeah, that's it. Without further ado, let me teach ya. Boss notes. Here we go. You can record these in your boss notes that you have. And you might be saying, what are boss notes? Well, at the end of this video, I will show you how to access the complete guide where you can instantly download it, um, and then you just fill it in. Okay, everything that I'm doing on here is in that guide. So, boom, here we go. Step one for addition in third grade, you are going to line up the digits in the correct place value. So write the word line, line up the digits. So we're gonna put all the ones in the ones place, all the tens in the tens place, all the hundreds in the hundreds place maybe even thousands. You're going to start adding in the ones place first. A lot of kids like to start in the hundreds place. No, you start from the ones and you work your way over, which we will do. Step three, if you get a two digit number, let's say like for instance, you have nine plus eight, which is 17. 17 is a two digit number. You would then have to regroup and I'll show you what that is in a second. And step four, blank your work. You need to check your work, okay? So let's get going. So our first one says our directions are to find the sum. That means we need to add these two numbers to get the total, which would be our sum. So I've written it horizontally. And some kids like to go ahead and just try to add it horizontally in their heads. But when you do so much work in your head, it, you, you're going to make mistakes. So you need to write this out. So first things first, like we said in our boss notes, line it up in the correct place value. So the zero is in the ones place, the nine is in the tens place, and the seven is in the hundreds place. Okay, and we're going to add those up. Now we start in the ones place. Ones is right here, three plus zero is three. Nine plus nine is 18. Woo! 18 is a two digit number. So 18, woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. All right. One plus two is three, and three plus seven is ten, which is also a two-digit number, but there's nothing else to add, so we're just going to bring down our ten. Sorry, I should have just done it like that. And then ones, tens, hundreds, comma, 1,083 is your answer. Next, number two, still finding the sum, and it's still written horizontally. I need to write it vertically. Can't do all that in my head. So 120. Nine goes here, seven goes here, four goes here. Not too shabby. Start in the ones place. Zero plus nine is zero. Two plus seven is nine. And one plus four is five. We didn't even need to regroup. And step four is also to check your work. So just go back again and look over what you did, make sure you added correctly, because one wrong addition move could throw the whole thing off. Oh, okay, so here. Pause the tape. I want you to give the practice it section a shot. That would be numbers three, four, and five. Pause it, boop, and then come back in just a second and see if you got it right. For real, pause it right now. No, for real, pause it. 
you're back, I'm back. Let's see if you are right, okay? So what's my first step here? It's written horizontally. And do we need to write it horizontally? No, we need to line it up. So, all right, 757, okay? Then I'm gonna write 413. Is that right? No, I didn't line it up in the correct place value. So I need to redo that. The three goes right under the seven in the ones place. The one goes under the five and the four goes there. Boom. What sign goes out here? Addition or subtract? Addition. We're doing addition today. And we're finding the sum. Okay. Now I start in the hundreds place. Seven plus four. No. I start in the ones place. Seven plus three is ten. So I put ten down here. No! Silly Miss McCarthy. Well, what do I need to do, guys? I need to regroup. So seven plus three is ten. Ooh, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. That's how you do it. Don't make the mistakes. If you made a mistake, just go back and fix it. It's cool. Mistakes are cool, that's how you learn. One plus five is six, and six plus one is seven. Seven plus four is 11, so I just bring it down. And what am I missing? Oh yes, ones, tens, hundreds, comma. So the sum is 1,170, booyah. Let's go. All right, number four. Here's where we practice it, okay. So I don't like the way it's written. I need to write it vertically. Let's see if you can catch my mistake. Okay. Nine plus seven is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. That's right. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 18 is 18. No, I have to regroup if it's a two-digit number. You're right. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 1, don't forget my 1, my little guy up here. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, so 486 should be your answer. All right, so we're at the practice it section. I've got 38 plus 584. Number five, last one for today. First thing is to line it up in the correct place value. So 38 plus 584. What's wrong? Right, I didn't line it up in the correct place value because here, the three should be in the tens place, but this five is in the hundreds place. They don't line upright. So 38, okay? The four is in the ones place. The eight is in the tens place. The five is in the hundreds place. If you made that same mistake, it's okay. We just have to learn from it, okay? Everybody makes mistakes. That's why pencils have erasers. And you better be using a pencil and not a pen, okay? or a crayon, you shouldn't be using a crayon, just a pencil. You need to be able to erase your mistakes. So eight plus four is 12. One plus three plus eight is 12. And one plus five is six. So 622 is your sum, is your total, is your answer. You're welcome. Today's B message is to be courageous like a boss. Being courageous means that you are being brave or doing something even when you might be a little scared. So for instance, let's say that you're at a theme park and you're like, whoo, that roller coaster looks a little bit scary, but I'm gonna give it a shot, I'm gonna give it a try. That would be being courageous, doing something even when you're a little bit afraid. How about trying something new, like a new food or a new club or a new sport? You know, it, it, you might be a little bit afraid of a new situation, but give it a try. It'll build your character up. Finally, I want you to be courageous by standing up to those bullies at school. 
Now, it doesn't mean that you need to fight those bullies, but hey, if somebody is picking on you, get out of that situation and you need to tell an adult. Don't be afraid to tell an adult. Be courageous and be brave. And if somebody else that you know is getting picked on, help them get out of the situation too by telling an adult. So here we are to be courageous like a boss. Comment below. Let me know how you are being courageous today. Bye, guys. Get stronger.